good morning everybody i hope everyone is doing so well so today i've been moved up from the third floor to the upper floor i don't want to give out my details too much but if you can see i got great views i got planes landing and lifting taking off um trees down there with cars passing by there's a mountain i get to look at doesn't show up well on camera but the views are pretty darn amazing and the rate to be up here is more expensive but um yeah they were like you're we're gonna have to put you up there and i got this for like a discounted price even for the third floor that i was on so God dropped a word in my spirit, and I believe it was Genesis 41, verse 14, okay, where it says, I'm paraphrasing, and Pharaoh sent for Joseph, and he came out from the dungeon, and he cleaned, and he shaved, and he went before Pharaoh. So after having been found faithful in the least of things being processed, being refined, seeking the face of the Lord, and despite of temptation, and despite of frustration and betrayal, he endured after all that time, and there was a set time for his deliverance and his favor. And illustratively, the Lord has ministered that to me in what has happened today. I was not anticipating my coming out of this situation. I was not anticipating being brought up to a higher level. And if you could see over there, I'm going to zoom in. I was taking a walk down there. And when you're down there, this place here it looks really high up and kind of intimidating a little bit if you're scared of heights. <laughs> Ooh, the sun is going on the mountains. It was foggy not too long ago. Um, and I was like, man, I saw people sitting there eating, having a good time and whatnot. And I was like, man, I could just imagine one of these days my gift makes room for me. And, you know, I'm eating, eating lavishly and all of that. And life is not all about that. You know, the whole purpose of being elevated and, you know, having these amazing things is to have a greater platform to preach the gospel, greater impact and influence to reach people in high places who can then, you know, be influential in the area that they sit at. You know, it's all about the Lord. It's all about the glory of God. We don't want all these things just for the heck of it. If that's a curse word to you, sorry, honey. <laughs> but we don't want it just for nothing. It's for a purpose. You know what I mean? And um, as I'm here, I saw these people who are who look like their their legs were crossed. They may have had briefcases or whatever, <laughs> and I'm like, man, they they it looks like luxury one of these days. And so here I am today, literally across from these people, and that's how quickly God could do things. That's how quickly God can elevate you. Now this is not my home. This is not my forever place. I don't know when I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I believe it's sooner than later, but only the Lord knows. I'm not going to act like I haven't been frustrated. It has been really frustrating, especially in the room that I was in. And God knew I needed a shift of some sort. So I'm thankful for that. But um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's in store. But I'm thankful that I got to get a shift of scenery and something to inspire me that things can really change drastically. You can literally end up in a position that you did not pay for, that you did not deserve nor earn. You could be up in high places with people who, you know, paid for so much more than you did. <laughs> and and that brings me to a word that the Lord had um, put on my spirit to release. But the whole scripture, that scripture, he will not suffer your foot to be removed. You will not be uprooted or removed from the place that you have been destined to be, the place that has your name on it, the chair with your name on it, the position with your name on it. You will not be uprooted, nor will you be removed, and you will be favored exponentially to the point where people who did so much to get there, it will baffle them. But that's the kind of God that we serve in the name of Jesus. So, I'm also reminded that the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous, okay? The accolades that another person would need, you're not going to need in the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me. What you need is the, the school of the Holy Spirit. And when you yield to that, God elevates you quickly. We just need to be found faithful at the lower parts. You know, it's not easy being in that position, but that day comes where you're elevated and, and you're in that position that you've seen other people be in and you know, that obviously doesn't come till after your heart has been tested and tried and you've been humblified and all of that. That's when it comes forward for us, but it will come. God is not a man that he should lie. And um, I'm looking at that airport over there. It's somewhere over there. I don't know exactly where I was, but um, I believe it's in view. 
somewhere i don't know but i was at the airport and i remember just i'm gonna insert a picture i was just sitting there not knowing where i'm gonna go next and i was so it really gave me a heart for the people who live life homelessly you know I, I was getting a taste of that feeling of not knowing where I'm going to go, where I'm going to end up. And for those of you going through that, God has a home for you. God has a place for you that shall be in your own name in the name of Jesus. I just, I, I come against any stronghold of the mind, any spirit of lack that would oppress you. We rebuke that in Jesus' name. I pray you be transformed by the renewing of your mind through Christ. Jesus came that we'd, we would have an abundant life in the name of Jesus. I don't believe that we just rent apartments, rent houses. I believe that he has land and inheritance, inheritances for us, you know? I claim that for myself in Jesus' name. And I could look like a fool as much as the people want me to, or as much as they think I do, but... I'm going to hold fast to the word of God and I'm going to let him come through for that and let that be the end of it. But listen, the, the day is set and appointed for you to dust yourself off, to come up from the low place and to be brought up high. Just be found faithful and vigilant in the place wherein you are located presently, whether it's at a job or whatever. I could, sorry, I'm kind of distracted by these planes and whatnot, but um, yeah, don't give up. Don't give up. Things can literally happen overnight and in a moment. The one moment I was down there, I'm like, hey, um, nightly. Is that a word? Yeah, I think so. Nightly. <laughs> um, I'm like figuring out. I'm booking these rooms in the same room. They're letting me stay in the same. They were letting me stay in the same room. And I was like, okay, since I don't know what I'm doing and since the provision is coming daily, okay, I'm reserving another night. I'm reserving another night. It's kind of frustrating, and I know they think I'm just crazy up in here. <laughs> but, and I'm not going to lie. We tempted to feel crazy, but God is not a liar. And is that a raven or a crow? I don't know. Do you see him right there? If that's a raven, that's like a little thing for me. It could be a crow. Only God knows. But anyway, provision. You feel me? Nightly, I'm like there trying to figure out what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go. And um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, in a moment, I was like, hey, I need this room again. And they're like, oh, well, actually, we're going to bring you up to the higher floor. You see, it could happen just like that. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Okay. Um, um, please do lift me up in prayer. Please pray for me continually. Um, right now, the focus is to not look back and to protect my mental health you know i'm all powerful in the spirit but i'm not gonna lie like depression's trying to overtake me at times um but i know it's the spirit you know we perish for lack of knowledge and had i not understood the spiritual implications of these spirits i would have been overtaken but i know to rebuke it but um i do pray and ask that you do pray for me and uplift me um in this time of uncertainty in the times of the holidays, not just for me, but for others going through it. And praise the Lord for whatever you do have, whether it's a little or a lot. Praise him for what you do have, because there's somebody out there who has less. Okay? Um, yeah. Thank you for everyone who has been supportive. Um, I do apologize yet again that I have not been able to reply to everything. I, From the bottom of my heart, it means a lot. I've seen a couple of people remove their comments. Probably they think I just was like whatever but that's not it um literally guys I'm not hanging on by a thread because I think that's an insult to the Lord but I'm really just doing my best to stay afloat <laughs> in the Lord and be focused and um when I get settled I'll be able to do all of that right now I'm just like okay sleep book the room get the food record the video <laughs> pray <laughs> do what you gotta do i'm just like one track minded trying to be as focused as possible and um i'm praying for you guys as well um i thank you for the love i thank you for the seeds i thank you for everything please don't think that it means nothing to me it means a lot and it's what is keeping me on track so um i'll see you guys or here you, you'll hear me or you'll see me in the very next video um before i go that's my favorite part of the plane ride when they're driving and it's like <laughs> it's not like that it's pretty crazy but um that's my favorite part and looking at it they're not even going that fast from where i could see but um 
yeah, it is fast. You may not think you're going quickly. You may not think you're as elevating or anything like that, but you are. As you're in, in the will of the Lord, that elevator, you don't really feel it going up. You just know that it kind of is, right? Um, yeah, for somebody, you are elevating. You are running. You are on the right track. You are moving forward. It doesn't feel like it, but you are. Okay, so later. Don't know why I'm not gone yet. Keep saying later. Um, yeah, we'll see what other update I have for my channel. God bless you. This is Krista Nicolaian. And one day that will change. In Jesus' name. Okay. Later. Bye. Oh, I thought that said Crystal on that bus. I was about to say, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me bow out and be humble. Thanks.